back to the channel. So today, I want to talk to you a bit about what camera gear, equipment, I'm taking to roads with me in three days. Three days? Yeah, so I've got the camera gear out on the side. I'm going to go through it with you. I've not got a lot to take with me, but um, I'm waiting for a chest mount for my phone, which I'm recording on now, because that's going to be able to do, you know, like the POV stuff, some POV content for my Instagram and obviously some POVs off of the YouTube, that sort of stuff. So uh, the adventures that we're doing, because um, I have got a GoPro, but it's a very old one and I need to upgrade it, so I'm not taking that with me. It's not not the best of quality, so it's not worth it. May as well just use the chest mount on the phone and use that. Um, so yeah. So, let's get into it. First of all, oh, it's under the fucking door. Someone was at the door. One back, and it's good actually, because I'll show you in a minute what it was. So first of all, the Sigma 24 to 70 that I'll be taking. This lens is my favorite lens at the moment anyway. I've had it for six, seven months. I had the Tamron 28 to 75 before this one. And although that was very good, uh, I just prefer the slightly you know, wider 24 mm um, and the seven, between 70 and 75, you don't really see much of a difference anyway. So that's why I changed up for this one. And the quality is amazing. Even just the build quality of the, you know, the equipment, it's just so good, so smooth. And then like I say, the quality of the actual images is amazing because it's a Sigma art lens. So definitely worth a look if you're looking to upgrade. Um, obviously my Sony mount for my Sony camera. Next up, we have my variable ND filter. So this is a KF, KNF, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty damn good to be fair. Um, pretty smooth. Doesn't come undone when you're twisting it either, which is uh, good. Which I used to have a CPL filter that used to come undone every time I twisted the bloody thing, give me head in. Um, so yeah, that's definitely come with us for filming in the uh, daylight. I've got an adapter for that, so I can put it on my 50mm, but most importantly, taking this bad boy, my camera, A7 II, which I will be upgrading soon to, not sure yet, A7 III maybe, or A7C, not decided, or even the EV1, I know it's a bit more expensive, but that looks perfect for uh, creating content, so maybe we'll move to that one, see what happens. Um, so yeah, this body, uh, it's been awesome for me for taking photos and Hey, it's alright for videos as well, to be fair, not, not the best, so, but that's why I'm upgrading, obviously. Obviously, the 50mm taken with me. Probably won't use that much, if at all, just good with the f1.8, so good at lower light, that sort of stuff. The Rode mic is coming with us for the vlogging, obviously. If I'm not filming on my phone, I'll be filming on the camera, so I'll be using that for the, for the vlogging, for the better audio. Because you know we like good audio. Next, we'll be taking this. This is my DJI. Osmo mini thing, uh, gimbal for my phone, which is so good for creating UGC content and obviously filming the vlog and stuff like that, it's absolutely perfect. Um, there is more expensive ones, but you know what, for the price this one has been absolutely amazing. Legs on it as well, which you can take off, or you can keep on and use to hold as well, which I do. So yeah, that's definitely going with us. Um, check them out, if you film a lot on your phone, check these out, because they are worth the weight in gold for filmmakers, you know, uh, video filmmakers on the phones. Definitely worth it. Um, I love it actually, I love it for creating, it's so fun to use. And I'm also taking my, obviously one of my SD cards there, and my uh, adapter so I can put the content straight from my phone, straight from the camera onto my phone on my iPad or laptop, you know what I mean, for editing purposes. So that's definitely coming with us, so I can edit my uh, Instagram content while I'm there doing the YouTube content when I come back. And what came in the post? Did it, did it, did it? A chest mount for my phone, so I can film POV footage of my photography or videography, that sort of thing, or you know what we're doing, maybe at the beach club where we're going jet ski, that sort of thing. Um, take that with me. Uh, maybe not jet ski actually, I don't want to get my phone knackered in the water. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, that just came in the post, literally started to film. So, Hope you enjoyed this video and you like the gear that I'm taking. If you have any questions about the gear or anything like that, then drop a comment below. Uh, if you like the video, then please subscribe and give it a like. And we'll see you in roads. Bye.